Hey, what's up you guys? You're watching Team APS. Today we have a new Yu-Gi-Oh! starter deck duel. So we're going to be playing with the Link Strike Structure deck and the Super Starter Space Time Showdown, also known as the Pendulum Starter deck. So each of these two decks started a new era in Yu-Gi-Oh! This introduced Link Monsters and Link Summoning. This introduced Pendulum Monsters and all the mechanics that went along with each of these two. These should be fun because they're meant to teach new players how to play the game, but since we already know about how these work, it'll be fun to see how they fare in just a regular duel. So before we hop into this, make sure to drop a comment and let us know which deck you think is going to win. And of course, if you haven't already, drop a like on the video, subscribe, and we will get right into the duel. Okay, so I've got the Link Strike starter deck. Yusaku and his decode talker on here, and I have to say I'm a bit jealous that I don't get the cool cutout window with like the foil card in there, but whatever. Okay, so if you check out the back here, it says the structure deck's got everything I need to know to learn how to duel with my friends, a beginner's guide, and I can learn the basics of Link Summoning. So pretty cool, got a little card list here. It's a new way to duel, it claims. Ah, oh, goodbye, box. All right, so the first card is actually not a Link monster, but it's Link Slayer. If I control no monsters, I can special summon it. It's like Cyber Dragon in that way. And I can pitch two cards to target that many spells and traps and destroy them. This will be pretty handy. Also, we've got our Link monsters. So this is Decode Talker. He is the premier Link monster. He was actually pretty popular early on. He gets 500 attack for everything he points to. And if your opponent uses anything that targets cards, I can tribute a monster that he points to and negate that effect and destroy it. I've also got my Ram Clouder. So it lets me tribute a monster, target a Cybers in my grave, and special summon it. Honeybot and Link Spider are my two other Link monsters. So these provide a, a way to summon vanilla monsters and also a way to sort of protect monsters that Honeybot points to. So those will both be pretty handy. Okay, now onto some of the more mundane things. We get a variety of vanilla monsters, Bitron, Draconet, which can actually summon it, Beast King, Barbaros, and Cyber Dragon. Photon Thrasher, a lot of monsters that can be summoned pretty easily. Sangin, the errated version, unfortunately. Battle Fader and Swift Scarecrow can protect us. We get our Effect Veiler, that could be helpful. Monster Reincarnation, Dark Hole, MST and Book of Moon, Forbidden Lance. A nice little spell lineup, honestly. Very useful cards. Call of the Haunted, Mirror Force, Torrential Tribute. Very strong traps. Not bad. All right, guys, I have the uh, Super Starter Space Time Showdown in my hands. Uh, it has um, Time Gazer and Stargazer, unless I just were, yeah, Time Gazer and Stargazer. It actually comes with these like two power-up packs, but I don't think it would be all that fair if I use them. So we're, we're gonna keep to what's listed on here. Yeah, let's uh, Pendulum Summon now. Oh, the glue. I miss when they used to use tape. All right, we have our OG. Pendulum setup, back when we had our own zones. All right, we have our Time Gazer and Stargazer Magicians. They are the premier Pendulum monsters for this strategy. Uh, the scales one and eight give us, a, give us a lot of options to what we can Pendulum Summon. But if you've all played this before, you know Time Gazer says you, can, you have to control no monsters to activate them. So it's gonna be a little touch and go if I can actually pull it off. Now we have Watt Tail Dragon, Luster Dragon, Hunter Dragon, Millennium Shield. So now we're into the uh, empowered kind of archetype. This is a series of warriors, spellcasters, and dragons that want to be pendulum summoned and make their boss monster, Aether, the empowering dragon. We have Ventra, Arnis, Terra Tiger, Hydro Tortoise, Golden Dragon Summoner, Blue Dragon Summoner, Red Sparrow Summoner, White Tiger Summoner, and Green Turtle Summoner. And we have our spells. Sorcerer Spell Wall, Supply Squad, Lightning Vortex, MST, Ego Boost, Axe of Despair, Lucky Iron Axe, Monster Reincarnation, Dark Factor of Mass Production, Poison of the Old Man, Trap Hole, Sakuretu Armor, Rageki Break, Dust Tornado, Shadow Spell, A Hero Emerges, Soul Resurrection, Jar of Greed, and Ma Magic Jammer, and Seven Souls of the Bandit. All in all, these are like, this is a really solid trap lineup, and the spells aren't bad either. I'm looking forward to playing this and uh, giving Paul a run for his money. And now a word from our sponsor, Dislike. By now you guys know I'm the mobile gaming guru of Team APS. And so it is my duty to introduce you to Dislike. 
This light is a turn-based pop fantasy RPG that's going to be released very soon. It's got a diverse cast of mythologically inspired characters called espers that live in the far future. I'm actually a huge mythology buff so this already has me excited and it's even better with this comic book inspired look they all have. You get to use iconic characters like Odin, Anubis, and Medusa to battle the Miramon, who have shown up to sow chaos and destruction in your city. The characters are animated in full 3D and they all look even better in this like slick combat system. You'll find yourself forming teams, leveling up your espers through battle, which unlocks their true powers. Oh yeah, and if that's not good enough, Dislight has a dope pop, rock, and EDM soundtrack that's weaved seamlessly into every facet of the game. Since I already love the character designs, I'm willing to let this light turn me into an EDM head too. If you feel the same way, go ahead and pre-register now for this light by hitting the link in the video description and I hope to see you guys in game. Shout out again to this light for sponsoring today's video. All right, so we're going to hop into this duel. I'm playing Link Strike starter deck. And I have Pendulum. I forgot the name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll to see who goes first. I rolled nine. nine. I kind of interfered with that, but uh, you got nine. Five. Five. I guess you can take the first move. All right. That's fine with me. Yeah, I'll take. I wish you luck, but not too much. Oh yeah, we're doing um, pendulum zones. Here and here. Here and here. Yeah. I mean, you're never gonna use yeah. those. I might. I might <laughs> have a pendulum monster. You won't. I will. Normal Negro. summon my Terra Tiger, the Empowered Warrior. What's his deal? So when it's normal summon, like a special summon level four or lower normal monster from my hand, I don't have one. Well, that's good for me. But I will set two cards face down and end my turn. All right, I'm gonna draw for my turn. I'll start by activating <clears throat> my Pot of Duality. So I get to execute the top three cards, add one into my hand, and shuffle the rest back into my deck. That's I the see. strongest card we've seen all game. Terraforming, Ram Clouder, and Jar of Avarice. Uh, yeah, I guess I do. I think I'll grab my Ram Clouder. It might be handy. I can only use one pot of value per turn, and I can't special summon this turn, so. Lucky you, I can't OTK you. Uh, you know, I was worried about that. I was, yeah. I was like, oh, he's probably gonna go for the OTK, FTK, FTOTK. All right, I'm gonna set a monster face down. He weak. And I'll set two cards and pass turn to you. All right, I will draw for turn. Let's, well, it might be a beefy monster. It might be a beefy monster, it just might. I will equip my Terra Tiger with Lucky Iron X. Oh. It gains 500 attack, and if this face-up card is destroyed by one of your card effects, I get to draw a card. So now that my Terra Tiger has 2300 attack, I enter battle, and Terra Tiger will attack your face down. All right, I'm gonna activate my Book of Moon. We'll flip Terra Tiger face down. Wow. And that gets rid of your Lucky Iron Axe as well. And doesn't trigger its effect. Even better. Uh, I'll tribute oh, geez, okay. my Terra Tiger. Tribute set. For a face down monster. Okay. Yeah, you didn't know I had Nobleman, did you? What is that? I'm curious I'll now. I'll set one card face down, now end my turn. All right, I'm gonna draw. I'll flip up Ryko Lightsworn Hunter. So I get to destroy a card in the field and then send the top three cards of my deck to the GUI. We're gonna target this. Let's see what it is. Wow. I don't know if you have something to say about it. Hit oh, it's Millennium, Millennium Shield. Shield. I couldn't even attack. Photon Thrasher, Marshmallow, and United We Stand. Darn it. I was hoping to send a Cybers to the grave. <clears throat> normal Summon. My Draco Net. When it's Normal Summon, I can Special Summon a level two or lower normal monster from my hand or deck in defense position. Uh-oh. So I'm gonna activate its effect. My Bitron in defense position. It's weak. It's got 2,000 defense, so I don't want to hear it. That's a, that's a, that's a big Tron. Yeah, Ain't big no Bitron. Tron here. All right, Yuya, prepare to see a summoning type you've never seen before. I'll Link Summon using Bitron to make my Link Spider. It does require just one normal monster. Yeah, it just takes a normal monster, that's it. And we're gonna actually go ahead and Link all three of these monsters away. Yeah, that's right. Decode Talker. He gains 500 attack for each card he points to. He doesn't Yikes. currently point to any. And if you activate a card or effect that targets a card I control, I can tribute a monster he points to and negate that activation. Oh, that's no good. Unfortunately, that's not the case right now. All right, we're gonna enter a battle phase. Attack you directly for 2,300. 
I will activate my trap card. A hero emerges. When you declare an attack, you choose a random card from my hand. Then if it's a monster, then it is special summoned. And I only have one card in my hand. Okay, well, I'm gonna pick it. You hit my ether, the empowering dragon. Oh my god, what the heck does this do? Only, it only does something if it's pendulum summoned. Ah, oh, but it still means I can't attack it. 2300 attack. You survive for now. I'm going to go to my main phase two, set a card face down, and pass turn. All right, let's draw for turn. Oh, this is in fact a card. I will end my turn. I'll draw. God, these take, some of these cards take some time for me to be able to use effectively. I will set one card. So I'm gonna enter the battle phase and I'll attack your ether. On attack declaration, I'll activate my ego boost. Oh. I can target a monster on the field and it'll gain 1000 attack, my ether. It's 3300 <sighs> now. I'll activate Dark Bride. Oh. So when you use the spell or trap, I can negate it, but you do get to draw a card. That is fair. Negate, draw. And your ether will be destroyed. Dealing 500 damage the first of this duel. If this were Master Duel, you see the chain thing happen. Yeah, can't wait for that game. Your move, duelist. All right, let's draw for turn. Oh yeah, cards. Cards. That's what I have. Cards exist. I will set two cards face down and I'll end my turn. All right, we're gonna draw. I'll activate Terraforming. I can add a field spell for my deck to my hand. This deck only gives me Sign it universe. What's that do? All link monsters gain 300 attack, and once per turn, I can target a monster in the grave and shuffle it into the deck. If this card in the field gets destroyed by a card effect, I send all other monsters in the all monsters in the extra monster zones to the graveyard. Oh my god! Jeez. That actually isn't. Wait, why does it even have that effect? I don't know. I hope you don't have a way to destroy it, because I kind of wanted to use it. I'm going to activate Sign it universe, and I'm going to activate Dust Tornado. Oh, wow, joy. So I can destroy a spell or trap card you control. Would be, I use my decode talker's effect. Since what? you use an effect that targeted a card I control, I contribute a monster that he points to and negate it. Then I will activate my Raigeki break. I will discard one card, then target a card on the field and destroy it. Okay, what are you talking? Your sign at universe. Well darn, okay. <laughs> so it's destroyed and so is decode talker. Man, I was having fun. Well, they'll go all my cards. <laughs> Mine too at this rate. <laughs> Wall, normal summon, Ram Clouder. Enter battle and attack for 18. I take it. Pass turn. Draw for turn. I will set one phase down and I'll pass. Draw, enter battle phase, Ram Clouder attack. You hit my green turtle summoner. I target a monster you control and destroy oh. it. God, okay. Goodbye, Ram Clouder. It was fun. We don't get to have nice things. Set, and I'll activate my Burden of the Mighty. Each face-up monster that you control loses 100 attack times its level. Yeah, Your move. Fair. It's gotten oh, very scrappy. It did. This doesn't really do much. I'll just activate it. My Poison of the Old Man to inflict 800 damage to you. Oh, <laughs> God, okay. I'm on the board, folks. All right, I passed. I draw. Normal Summon, Exarian oh. Universe. <laughs> Enter battle and attack for 18. Your move. Draw for turn. Your move. <laughs> Draw. I'll give you an extra turn. I'm gonna normal summon card card D, and during my main phase, if it was normal summon in this turn, I can tribute it to draw two cards, but then it becomes my end phase. So I'll tribute it and draw two, and that's your, your turn now. I draw for turn. Man. I'll set one card phase down and I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll enter the battle phase and attack for 1800 damage. Set one card and pass turn. Draw for turn. I'll set one card face down. That's your extra deck. I'll set one card face down. <laughs> I was trying to play around mech knights and I end my turn. I draw. I'll use Xerian Universe and attack you for 1800. I'll activate my Sakuretsu armor to destroy mm. your monster. I'll activate compulsory evacuation device. I'll return him to my hand. Mm. Now in main phase two, I'll set a monster. <laughs> your move. I'll draw for turn. 
I will also set a monster and activate my supply squad. So that oh. once per turn, if you control, a, if you destroy a monster that I control, I draw a card. I'll draw. I'm gonna flip up Exarian Universe. I'll activate my supply squad, because they apparently gave us both one. Inner battle, attack your monster. I'm not going to actually do his Pierce effect. You hit my warrior, Diagreffer. I'm glad I didn't do his Pierce effect. And then supply squad's effect activates and I draw one card. All right, your move, duelist. Then I draw for turn. I will set one card face down and end my turn. I draw. I'll activate Monster Reincarnation. By discarding a card, my Battle Fader, I can target a card in my graveyard and add it to my hand, if that's all right. I'll activate my Magic Jammer. I'll discard one card to negate it. Enter battle. Xerian Universe is going to attack. You hit my Mystical Elf. That has 2,000 Ooh. defense. Yeah, this doesn't decrease that, so I take 200 damage. Yeah, we did it again, boys! All right, your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. Oh, that's not gonna help. I pass. I draw. I'll activate Jar of Avarice to draw one. Oh wait, target five cards in my grave and then draw. I forgot about that part. I'm doing everything I can to survive here. Yeah, and I'm recycling. Remember to recycle, kids. It's a good thing to do. You can know, be difficult I've never in some seen a recycling bin before. I've only seen them on TV. I'll set a card face down and I'll pass turn to you. Draw for turn. I will set one card face down, and I will end my turn. All right, draw. Xerian Universe, attack his set card. You hit my Red Sparrow Summoner. What's he doing? And when this card is destroyed by battle, we'll buy an attacking monster. I can special summon a warrior monster from my deck with attack 1,500 or less. Okay. In attack position. So I'll get my Blue Dragon Summoner. Though it's not 1,500 under Burden of the Mighty, it's only 1,100. And then, because you destroyed one of my monsters, I can use Supply Squad to draw. All right, I'm gonna set one card. Your move, right, Duelist. And then I'll draw for turn. I don't know how I'm gonna make any of this work. You're gonna switch to defensive mode. And I'll end my turn. All right, I'm gonna draw. Still gonna get over Mystical Elf of all things. Can't but... even get over at 2,000 defense. But I'll activate my mystical space typhoon on your supply squad. I was enjoying drawing cards. Yeah, I can't have that. Xeran Universe attacks Blue Dragon Summoner and I'll use his effect um, oh, yeah. to decrease his attack by 400. And it'll deal piercing. So he's at 14 and you're yeah, at 6, 14. so you take 12. Wait, 8. No, 8. Yeah, 800 damage. You're close to defeat, Duelist. Are you going to survive? I don't know. I'll set a card and pass turn. <laughs> Draw for turn. Not useful. No, five cards in there. You can't do anything. No. <laughs> okay. I will set one card face down and I'll end my turn. I'm gonna draw. Not a normal nice. summon Draco Net. Oh no. When he's normal summon, I can special summon a level two or lower normal monster from a hand or deck in defense position. So I'm gonna activate his effect. I cannot believe you shot you recycled that. Yeah, I mean that. And Bitron. Oh! Special summon Bitron to the field. This unholy ceremony that is about to be performed. I will link my Bitron to make Link Spider. If that's all good with you, then we're going to link summon all three to make Decode Talker again. The stalemate was nice while it lasted. And next, I'll normal summon Marauding Captain. I can't use his effect because I don't have another monster in my hand. But he does nice. give my Decode Talker more attack points. <clears throat> now, into battle, mm -hmm. and Decode Talker is going to attack Mystical Elf. <laughs> oh no. And then I'll attack for 1200 with Marauding Captain. 1200. Leaving you at 100, which I wish I could <laughs> do something about, but I can't, so your move. Draw. Okay, Paul. This is going to take everything. I'm going to set the scales. I activate. My Time Gazer Magician. I had to wait until I controlled no monsters. Ooh, that's a tall order. And then I activate my Stargazer Magician. And now I have the scales one through eight so I can Pendulum Summon. Let's see it. I will Pendulum Summon Wattail Dragon and Luster Dragon. Well, hello. I'm gonna activate Bottomless Trap Hole. Since you Pendulum Summoned and these monsters so, have over 1500 attack, so, so, um, 
Unless this has some crazy protection. No. But like, so what I would have done, what I would have done was I would have flipped this seven tools and negated. Oh, but, but like, you're at 100. I'm at 100. Okay. So what happens here, guys, is I lose because they get destroyed and banished. And that was my play That's the, for this okay. turn. <laughs> All right. Well, that's game one. All right, hopefully this time I can pay down something before the end of the game. Yeah, hopefully it's not like in the literal last turns. I realize Pendulum Summon without Pendulum Monsters is a very precarious thing to do. Are there literally the only two Pendulums in there? Yeah. I'll, I'll be starting. You'll be starting? Okay. Yes. I'll activate the scales. Oh, wow. Time Gazer and Stargazer Magician. I have the scales one through eight Out of sets. curiosity, I'm mm -hmm. just curious. I don't even know what these are. The scales are set. I can now pendulum summon a monster between the levels of one and eight, and I pendulum summon three. Jeez, you just let it Wattail rock. Wattail Dragon, Dark Blade, and Warrior Die Greffer. Like, you might have a trap later, so I gotta do it all now. And then I Xyz summon and synchro. Okay, no, no, no. That, that's combo it. off. That's it. How then by turn? I draw. Special summon. Photon Thrasher, since I control no other monsters. He can't attack if I ever control another monster, by the way. Boo. I'm gonna enter battle and attack your Dark Blade for 200. Then we're gonna set three cards and pass turn. I will draw for turn. Let's switch my Warrior Digrepher to defensive mode and enter battle. My Wattail Dragon will attack your Photon Thrasher. Uh, I'll use Book of Moon on Wattail Dragon. To flip him face down. And I'll pass there. I'll draw. Alright, my Photon Thrasher is going to attack your set monster. Get my Wattail Dragon. And I'll pass turn. And I'll draw for turn. Are you Konami? Trying to think, what can I do with this? Set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I'm going to do Normal Summon Card Card D. I'll activate its effect and tribute it to draw two cards and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll set one card face down, and I'll end my turn. And I'll draw. Activate Terraforming. Cynet Universe. I'll go ahead and activate Cynet Universe. I'm going to activate its effect to target a monster in my graveyard and shuffle into the deck. I can target ones in either one. But I'm going to be shuffling in card, card D. You want to you can shuffle that in. That's cool. Mm, next that? turn. Next turn, though, right? Next I'll, turn. I'll think about it. All right, all right, all right. Enter battle. I'm going to attack Warrior Digrepher. I will activate my trap card, Shadow Spell. Now your monster has its attack reduced by 700 and cannot attack or change its battle position. I'm gonna set one card and pass turn to you. I will draw for turn. I will switch my warrior die prefer to attack mode. And I'll flip summon my Arnest, the empowered warrior. <clears throat> and I'll enter battle. My Arnest will attack your Photon Thrasher. So my Thrasher's at 14, so it's destroyed and I take 300 damage. We're on the board. And warrior die Graffer will also attack with 1700. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll set a monster face down and pass. Let's draw for turn. I will flip summon my green turtle summoner. On flip, I target a monster you control and destroy it. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. That's my marshmallow and that was gonna protect me. Ooh, nice. And I will enter battle. Arnis will attack with 1700. And then Warrior Digrepher attacks with 17. And green with 400. And I'll end my turn. All right, I'm gonna draw. I need something strong. Nothing will save you in the face of my pendulum might. Okay, well, we're gonna see about that. I'll activate Monster Reincarnation. I'm going to use it to, I'll discard Ring of Destruction. Ooh. And I'm going to add a monster back. It's gonna be Photon Thrasher. Ugh, didn't I deal with that already? You did. Let's all use Sinite Universe's effect. I'm gonna just shuffle my marshmallow back. Maybe it'll come in handy at some point. Okay, now, special summon Photon Thrasher. And I'll normal summon Draco Net. Uh oh. Since it's normal summon, I can special summon a level two or lower normal monster from my hand or deck in defense. Special summon Galaxy Serpent. I did not see this coming. And now it's time to Link Summon. Maybe. Galaxy Serpent Link into Link Spider. I'll use Link Spider's effect to special summon a level four lower normal monster to a zone he points to. Oh no. Bitron in defense. Now, Link with all three for Decode Talker. We'll point here so he has something to point to. 
Enter the battle phase. Yes. Decode Talker is going to attack Green Turtle Summoner. Okay. With 2,800. To my four, so I take 2,400. Your move. Let's draw for turn. What saves me here? A whole lot of nothing. I'll set one card face down, I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. Jar of Avarice. I'll shuffle in five cards. They all get shuffled in, I'll draw one card. I hope it's terrible. Yeah, well. I hope it's not a Jar of Avarice. Okay, we're gonna set a monster and enter the battle phase. Decode Talker's gonna attack Warrior Digreffer. I'll activate. Which actually weakens him. My Sakuretsu armor. This'll really weaken him. I'll destroy your attacking monster. You would, but since you're targeting Decode Talker, I'll activate its effect. This thing sure does target. I'll tribute a monster he points to Marauding Captain and negate and destroy it. Okay, that's that goes. Warrior Digreffer's gone, and I'll end my turn. Then I'll draw for turn. I'll activate Lightning Vortex to destroy oh. all face-up monsters you control. I'm going to activate my Dark Bribe. Eh. Since you use the Speller Trap, it will <laughs> negate it, but you draw one card. I will switch my Arnus to attack position and then equip Arnus with Axe of Despair. It gains 1,000 attack. So I'll enter battle and my Arnus will attack your Decode Talker. Okay, so Decode Talker is destroyed and I'll take 100 damage. And I'll end my turn. What does Axe of Despair do? Does it anything else? Uh, it just can put itself on the top. Yeah, when it's sent to Graveyard, I contribute a monster and put it on top. I will not be doing that. Draw for turn. Set one card. I'll activate Sign at Universe. I'm gonna put Decode Talker back in my extra deck and pass. All right, draw for turn. I will normal summon my Hunter Dragon and I'll enter battle. Arnis will attack your Bitron. I'm going to activate Mystical Space Typhoon on Axe of Despair. No, I'm going to use Axe of Despair's effect. I will tribute the Hunter Dragon what to add do? it back to, to, to put it on top of my deck. Okay, so you'll take 300 damage from this battle. Yes. I will main phase two, set one card face down, I'll end my turn. I'm gonna draw. Normal summon Exarian Universe. That's bigger. Enter battle phase and attack and Arnus. I will take 100 damage, but that will activate my Arnus's effect to special summon a spellcaster with 1500 or less attack. I'll get my blue dragon summoner. All right, and that's gonna do it for my turn. I'll draw for turn. I will normal summon my Terra Tiger, the Empowered Warrior. I do not have any targets for its effect. But I, but it does have 1800 attack, so I will be entering battle and attempting to swing into your Exarian universe. So we'll both be destroyed? Yes. And then I'll switch my Blue Dragon Summoner to defensive mode in main phase two and end my turn. I'm gonna draw. Normal summon Curry Bandit. Oh wow, you a wild dude. I'll attack with Curry Bandit. That will destroy my Blue Dragon Summoner, but it will activate its effect to add a normal monster, a normal spell, spellcaster warrior or dragon to my hand. Oh, man, they actually cool. did not, they don't give you a lot of options. I didn't realize, they give you literally one of each option. I'll get the Millennium Shield. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, I've been setting up for that all day, not realizing that that was the, that was the really so only choice. So you're out of spellcasters? Oh, the, I, thought you, I know you used the, the spellcaster option isn't any, any better. better. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to go to my end phase so I can tribute my Curry Bandit, excavate the top five cards of my deck, add a Speller Trap, and send the rest to the grave. That's going to go to the grave. That's going to go to the grave. Yeah, I can actually get that. Or that. That's going to go to the grave. Oh, these are some terrifying cards. I'll get United We Stand. I'm gonna be nice and not get bottomless trap hole. United We Stand isn't nice either. Yeah, I know. Oh wait, these go to the uh, grave, yeah, sorry. Like, nah. One, Josh. two, three. <laughs> and it's your move. And walling out with this bitch, Ron. <laughs> Draw for turn. One cool thing is you can pin on some in Millennium Shield. I can't, that's the whole thing, but it's, it's not a lot. <laughs> I'll pendulum summon my Millennium Shield. And <laughs> I'll end my turn. I draw. Jesus Christ, I just want to be able to summon my junk guy again. You've done it more than enough times, Paul. Yeah, this will be like my fourth decode talker summon. I'm gonna activate Sign at Universe. We're gonna shuffle something back in. How about you shuffle one of my monsters back in? Ram Clowder. <sighs> yeah, you can't get over the Millennium Shield. We're going to, just to make things happen, a Link Bitron for Link Spider. Anyways, I'll use Link Spider's effect 
Mm -hmm. to special summon a normal monster to a zone it points to. Normal summon, oh, I never thought I would get this bad. Normal summon effect Valor and activate <laughs> United We Stand and equip it to Lynx, uh, Lynx Spider. So he's gaining 2,400, so he's 34. So he's enough to swing over your monster. <laughs> Link Spider, attack Millennium Shield. Please don't have anything. I'll activate my Dust Tornado. Ooh. And I'm gonna hit your Cyanet Universe. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That works. <laughs> so Cyanet Universe is destroyed, which destroys Link Spider and United We Stand. This yes. was all a travesty. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done nothing. <laughs> The safest move is often to do nothing at all. Your move. Draw for turn. Oh, now you show up. I will now Pendulum Summon 2. I'll summon my Ether the Empowering Dragon and my Red Sparrow Summoner. Ether gets its effect when it's Pendulum Summoned. I can target one card in the field and return it to the hand. Oh, okay. I'll be returning. Well, I guess <laughs> Give me that face down card. Or something. <laughs> Eep. I'm going to actually, I'll chain it. My compulsory evacuation device. Ah! Bounce him back. I will tribute my Red Sparrow Summoners because I want to keep the Millennium Shield to summon my Ether, the Empowering Dragon. Enter battle. Ether will attack your effect, Valor. For yeah, game. Yeah, that's that's gonna do it. Okay, Duelist, game three. Game three. Bet you didn't think you'd be saying those words. I don't think you didn't. <laughs> will pendulums or will links reign supreme? Which hated mechanic is <laughs> is better? Fun fact, these mechanics made people quit this game. They did. All right, I lost, so I'm gonna have you go first. All right, I like going first. I like going second. I want cards. I don't like going first. Mm, well, I didn't get the best hand either, so you might have luck. Oh my God, this really does suck. Set one card face down, and then set another card face down, and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. Oh, I'll set a card face down. And pass turn. Then I will draw for turn. Now we're getting aggressive. Are we? I'll okay. flip summon my Red Sparrow Summoner. That's 1600 attack. And I'll normal summon my Dark Blade with 1800. Ooh. And I'm entering battle. Red Sparrow Summoner attack for 1600. And then Dark Blade will attack for 1800. Main phase two, I will set one card face down and I'll end my turn. And I'm gonna draw. Special summon Evil Swarm Mandragora in defense position since you control a monster and I don't. That is a legal play, yes. And I'm gonna normal summon Curry Bandit. I'll set one card face down and now I'll go to my end phase. So Curry Bandit's effect can activate. Yes. I'll tribute it and excavate. Good cards, good cards, good cards. No, 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 no. Oh no, oh no. Oh, <laughs> dig a dark hole. I will officially be committing nothing else to the board. <laughs> Your move. <laughs> Draw for turn. I'll enter battle. Let's have my Red Sparrow Summoner attack your Mandragora. And then Dark Blade will attack you directly for 1800, but that will be all he does for this game, because uh, yeah, no. we both know what's coming next. I will pass. I will draw. Well, I'll activate Dark Hole. Remember as kids when everyone used to have us three of it in their decks? So it was Dark boom, Hole boom, pass. boom. <laughs> this is, nothing stays in the board ever. We're gonna normal summon Ram Clowder. All right, I'll enter the battle phase. Actually, wait. I'll activate Supply Squad first, because you might man. destroy me. All right, Ram is gonna attack for 18. I will activate my Raigeki Break on Declaration. Oh Scarred boy. One card to destroy your Ram Clowder. <gasps> hey, you should get your card. You draw, oh, I mean. No. Goodbye, Ram Clowder. Supply Squad, give me a draw. <sighs> Somebody call an ambulance. But not for me. Activate Call the Haunted. Special summon Ram Clowder, and I'll attack for 18. You got it And I swear if you have Sakuretsu armor. Oh. <laughs> Do you have that? Oh my god, please don't have that. Sakuretsu armor. Oh my god, I shouldn't have attacked. It wasn't worth it. Okay, goodbye Ram Clowder. You know what? Oh my gosh, you have another play? I don't, <laughs> but <laughs> I, 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 I mm. How many cards are you gonna lose, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> How many cards are in your hand? I have two. Let's see, is this worth it? Book of Moon. Oh, you are wild, dude. Gonna flip it down. Uh, we're gonna pass turn, I guess. Let's draw for turn. I'll activate my Dark Factory of Mass Production. I can add two normal monsters from my grave to my hand. I'll play my Mystical Space Typhoon on your face down. You hit terraforming. Oh, man, pure bait. Normal summon Dark Blade. 
Enter battle, dark blade attacks Ram Claudia. And I end my turn. I draw for turn. I should have just hit the supply slot. Okay, it's time to activate Sinet Universe and use its effect. <laughs> time to start shuffling things in. Set one, set pass. Let's draw for turn. I will normal summon my warrior die Greffer and I'll Ooh, enter okay. battle. Okay. Dark Blade will attack your face down. It's 1800. All right, I'm going to use Ring of Destruction. Okay. That's not It'll destroy that. your Dark Blade, and we both take 1800. So I'm really on the ropes here. He's on the edge. All right. Uh, we'll have Warrior Die Greffer attack your face down. I was scared that was Mirror for us. It's Effect Veiler. Supply Squad, give me a card. I will set one card face down. I'll end my turn. All right. I will draw Jar of Avarice. Please don't have, okay. <laughs> what you had in there. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> see, I will cut that deck so well, you will not see that dark hole. You cut it all you want. All right. I draw. Well. Slabs it down. Dark hole. <laughs> Say hello to Ram Clowder again. Wow. Inner battle. Attack. Oh my God. I take 100. Set, pass. Let's see, on the end phase, I'll activate Jar of Greed to draw a card. You greedy bastard. You still ending? I'm, yeah, I'm still ending. Draw for turn. I'll activate my Time Gazer Oh, magician. God. Okay, here we go. Oh, at least it can't be more than one, like, pendulum or something. Then I'll set one and set another card. Oh, okay. <laughs> my turn? Yep, your turn. Draw. Inner battle. Attack. Please don't be like Mystical Elf. It's Chamberlain. Chamberlain. Oh, I should have remembered. 200 days. Ooh, I can't afford to be doing this. I'm at 800. <laughs> Set one card and pass. Draw for turn. Paul, does your deck come with, uh, well, I guess we'll find out. Well, you know what? We won't find out. You can add, I mean, I'll. So I'm gonna activate Dust Tornado on your face down. The Mirror Force. Oh, well, that wouldn't have mattered for the card that I drew. Oh, what did you draw? Poison of the Old Man. No! I'm gonna burn you for 800 no! points. No! <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna conclude the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I actually had a lot of fun with this one, even if I died in the worst way. I did too, even when I couldn't pendulum summon. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like. Of course, let us know any other decks that we can grab and use. We've got a few other structures and starters in mind, so it should be fun. We got a collection. Subscribe if you haven't, hit the bell, all that stuff. We're almost at 400,000 subs, help us get there. We'll see you guys in the next one. Past turn.